Top real estate lead sources ranked from best to worst. Let's jump right in. Number one, the low hanging fruit where the people are most likely to transact immediately, the expired and the for sale by owner. The expired, people who attempted to sell and did it and the for sale by owner basically saying, hey, I wanna sell, I don't need an agent. Why is this the best lead source? Because expired has already been on the market and was unable to sell, meaning more than likely they're gonna come back on and they do and they're gonna sell and it's gonna be soon and quick, fast, and in a hurry most of the time, and the for sale by owner. They're actively saying, hey, I wanna sell my house, I just don't wanna use an agent, I don't see the value in it. And those are two great lead sources, right? I started building my business early on, going after those lead sources, and to this day, and I think till the end of time, they're gonna be some of the best lead sources because they want to do something now. They've either raised their hand that they're selling now, or again, with the expireds, they tried to sell and they didn't. So those are the top two lead sources that every single one of you needs to go after because they're hot. Right underneath that, so expire in a FISBO S tier, right? Right beneath that, probate, divorce, notice a default, right? Probate, something happened, right? Death in the family, so on and so forth, and it's going to go to the state and they're gonna have to basically uh, find somebody who's gonna be the authorized uh, decision maker, right? And then it's going to be sold then they're gonna take it to court, right? Then they're gonna do that whole process where they can overbid and all that fun stuff, right? If you guys have ever done probate, but it's definitely gonna sell and something's gonna happen. So probate, great lead source. You can get all the, the leads actually from the county because they release it publicly, or you can get a software that will give you all of the information. Same thing with the expires and FISBOs as well. The divorce, right? If you guys are in with divorce attorneys, people are getting divorced all the time. Divorce rate is what, 60, 70%. And when that happens, right, they're gonna have to divvy up the assets and typically any type of real estate is sold or some kind of deal or arrangement is made, in which case, if you work with a divorce attorney and you're assigned to help, you'll be good to go and you'll have a deal, right? Last one, notice a default, right? People who are behind on their mortgage, right? People who are going to have to sell, right? And you can also throw in short sale there, but basically you saw this a lot uh, when the market crashed, people got in with asset managers and they started you know, handling a lot of the foreclosures, but this is a great lead source as well. I've dabbled a little bit in this category with some of these, I've done like one or two probate deals um, I think I've done one divorce situation and I've done a few NODs uh, over the years, but those are great lead sources as well because again, time is of the essence. The NOD has a time frame, right? The divorce uh, attorney in that situation too has a time frame. Same thing with the probate, right? There's gonna be a time frame where these things are done and typically motivation is a lot higher, just like the expired and the for sale by owner. So S tier expired for sale by owner, A tier probate, divorce, NOD. The next one, relocation. Great lead source, right? A lot of times, Companies, right, offer relocation services and something that you can do as a realtor is get in with them or figure out a way to be a relocation partner, right? A lot of people in the military, uh, if you're in the military or were before, this is a great niche for you to get into because people are always jumping around and relocation is always gonna be one of those things where it's gonna be done, motivation is high, and there's a time frame. So that's something I would explore as well. Uh, there's many, many ways for you to do it. I'm not here to tell you specifically in this video for all these things like the best strategy for it, but that's something you can look into as an agent because I think relocation is huge. I know people in the military niche or people who just exclusively work with relocation companies and they do plenty of business a year, six deals, 12 deals, 15 deals a year, just from that one lead source. So relocation, very, very good. Okay, the next one, the for rent by owner and the absentee owner, I think to me, are kind of slept on. For rent by owner, somebody who wants to rent their home, but typically if you contact them, uh, you can have a conversation to see if they'd be open to selling. This is somebody typically who uh, is selling a non-principal residence, meaning they're selling a home that they don't live in themselves. They may be looking to, to rent it at the moment. However, some of them would sell it if their price is right, or they would consider putting it up for sale and for rent simultaneously to see which deal is better, and that's a great way for you to start that conversation, right? Absentee owner is somebody who uh, owns property that is not their principal residence, right? I own nine properties throughout the United States myself, so not the one that I'm living in, but all the other ones would be considered absentee, right? Meaning I don't live in it, I'm absent from living in it. So I rate that as a pretty good lead source because some of the first deals that I did as an agent was contacting absentee owners. At one point, I remember I was calling absentee owners pretty regularly, and every 27, I remember, every 27 conversations, I was setting up a listing appointment. So that's a, a fantastic lead source for you to go after, right? Underneath that, open houses, right? Jim and I, 
uh, Jim, uh, one of my best students uh, from Chicago, lifetime coaching member of mine. We actually put together a product that we're going to be releasing soon. Uh, you can hit me up if you're interested in it, where we go over the open house mastery system. Open houses, if done correctly, can be very good. You can get sellers from it. You can get buyers from it. You can show people properties the same day if they're already qualified, and it's a great way for you to fuel your business if you do it correctly. Make sure that you're promoting it beforehand. Make sure that you know how to run the open house. Make sure you're capturing people's information and make sure that you have systems and follow up for after so that you are not letting any leads slip through the cracks, right? Next, I would say Google, pay-per-click, internet, Zillow, realtor.com, all that stuff, right? Now, a lot of people say, well, Brian, you know, it's a modern era. How come you didn't put social media and all these at the top? Well, Internet is good, and I've done the internet stuff over the years in conjunction with social media, which is the next one. However, I'll tell you this. A lot of the stuff that you get on the internet, it's not now leads, right? You're going to have to have the skills. You're going to have to have the support, and you're gonna, most importantly, you're going to have to have the systems in place so that if you start doing some of these things and investing a lot of this money, that when these leads come in, again, the lion's share of them are not going to be ready now. They'll be ready months down the road or maybe a year or two from now. And you need to have everything in place to make sure that you're capturing those people, you're nurturing them, and then when they're ready, you're actually getting the business. Otherwise, you're just flushing your money down the drain. And a lot of people want to skip the other lead sources to try to go after these, thinking that, oh, well, I can just skip that and do these. And then come to find out, well, they spend a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars, and they're left with nothing. And they say, hey, well, the leads suck. Well, it's not that the leads suck, you suck. You don't have the systems in place, you don't have the follow up, you don't know what you're doing. So these people may not be ready today, but if they're ready in a month or three months or six months, you need to have everything in place to be able to do those things. Because the next one is social media, and it's the same thing. A lot of people who contact are going to be lookers or not ready now. What are you going to do? And social media is a great lead source if you're using it properly, right? Doing house tours, uh, showing listings, and doing a lot of work to build your brand is a fantastic way for you to get leads. But what are they opting into? What's the call to action? And what's the plan after? How are you going to have the conversation, right? What system are they going to go into? How are you going to keep track of all this stuff, right? All these things need to be coordinated and you need to have a fully built out process and system. Otherwise, again, you're just wasting your time because people think it's a following that you need to build on social media and that's not necessarily the case. You need systems, you need a good call to action, and you need the ability to do these things properly. Now, are there more lead sources? Of course. These are just some of the top ones that I ranked. We'll go over it again at the very top S tier, expired in FISBO. Second level, probate, divorce, notice of default, right? Third, relocation. Fourth, for rent by owner and absentee owner. Underneath that, open house leads. Beneath that, Internet, Google PPC, Zillow, Realtor.com, Trulia, all that stuff, and lastly, social media. If you guys want to add any more, go ahead. I know I'm not going to fit them all in this video, but I kind of wanted to rank them based on what I think. Um, the skill threshold for each one, I really didn't go over. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a list, but in the future, I'll be doing maybe more of an in-depth breakdown of each one and some things that I would do for each category in order to ensure that I maximize my productivity in each one, okay? interested and curious to see what you guys have to think. Like I said, I don't have time uh, to list every single lead in real estate. There's so many lead sources. I just kind of wanted to give you my opinion on what I thought was the best to the worst in today's modern era. You agree, you disagree, leave me a comment below. Leave a thumbs up, share this video as well. I do one-on-one -on -one Zoom consultations if you guys need help. I do courses. I offer coaching to salespeople, entrepreneurs, and real estate agents as well. All the links are in the description. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.